Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Houghton and I'm a product manager on Visual Studio working on GitHub Copilot. I'm super excited to share one of my favorite features for Copilot that you can get started working on with today with Copilot Free. So the feature I want to share is called Custom Instructions, and it's the best way to get Copilot up to speed so that it can work at your speed and support your developer velocity. Now, every team has some kind of knowledge base that has information about how to get started in the repo, information about the frameworks that the team is using, and even the coding standards. This information isn't something that Copilot can just figure out by looking at your code. So if I were to ask something like, what are my team's coding preferences? And then Copilot could come back with a really detailed response and help me make sure that I knew exactly what my team was expecting. Kind of like what it's showing here. These are really specific Blazor code style instructions that are consistent with what my team has. So how did Copilot know about this information? Well, if you look at the response here, it actually mentions that it says that these are outlined in my GitHub slash Copilot dash instructions MD file. And if I look in the references, I can see that when Copilot was generating this response, it used that Copilot dash instructions MD file as a reference file. So what is this file? It's basically like a system prompt where I can seed information to Copilot so that it has a better idea of what my team is working on and it can come up with better suggestions based off of the information that I put here. So not only can I ask it direct questions about the information here, but when it's generating code for me and maybe unit tests and things like that, it has a better chance of actually creating code that follows my team's standards already so that I don't have to do extra editing to make sure everything looks the way that I want to. I can feel that much more confident in accepting Copilot suggestions. So how do I enable this? Well, I need to make sure that I have this file and I need to name it copilot-instructions.md. In my tools options page, I need to make sure that this Copilot chat option is checked on so that I can load those instructions from the correct place. And when I store this file, it's going to go into my .github folder. This is also a great thing because it's saved in my repo. So not only am I going to benefit from all of the information that Copilot is grabbing from this file, but so is the rest of my team. The last thing I wanted to show real quick was if I go to my plans.razor file here and I highlight some code, I'm going to invoke the inline Copilot here, and I can actually do something like, does this code follow my team standards? And while Copilot's thinking about that, you can see it actually pulls in that Copilot instructions file right there, and it's telling me exactly how this code is following my team standards. And if it saw anything that it was missing, then I could get some extra feedback and make sure that my code is ready to go. Now, that was everything I had to share on custom instructions. I'm super excited for you all to try it out. Let me know what you're letting your buddy Copilot know about your code to get those really good responses. And you can get started working with Copilot like this today for free. So more information on that in the description below. Thank you so much.